with a yo ho ho, it's Tale of the Toaster. Welcome back to Let's Play. Inasuma 11, 3, Team Ogre Attacks. And now we're going to be starting the post game with this particular episode dedicated to the extra competition route. So when you boot up the game for the first time after completing the main story, you get a bunch of announcements. First of all, saying that you can finally play the teams like England and Argentina in the competition routes run by Mr. Firewill. And if you beat them, you can then recruit their players. So that's a huge reward for taking a few minutes out of your time. So we'll go to that one first. And you can also recruit even more players through capsule scouting. For example, in the Brazilian camp, once you've beaten the game, you can now just randomly get Sue and Tori as capsule scout or even old alias members in other capsule machines at the F of, at the alias headquarters, etc. So all sorts of stuff to do. It says there's new competition routes and I tell you what, they're not kidding. That's what we're going to be showing off today, including a revisit to the finally opened Ryman Junior High School. And there's ultimate tournaments, but nobody cares about them. And the collection, which is a lot more interesting. We'll show that off later in the LP. And that is going to close off the series. The surprise. It's fun. First of all, let's head to Mr. Firewall's competition route, as that's the one that we've known has existed since the start of the game, and nothing's changed aside from the fact the English, etc. have been added to it. So heading in, I'm basically going to go around the world and not do any matches from these competition rooms, but just talk about the rewards and what the point of doing them is. So I was supposed to complete this side of the route, but you cannot unlock this third match without pulling a random 40% chance of an item drop in this map. So I just never sp found the time for it, but if you were to S rank it, you actually get Paul Peabody as a reward. That guy who always runs away from you and you have to talk to him like 13 times consecutively to get him to join you. I did beat this one, but again I didn't manage to S rank it. If I had done that, then my reward would have been very good. It would have been Max Carson, an actual Inazuma Japan candidate who was in the Ryman team originally. And finally, your real reward for beating this lower route is being able to recruit the players on the teams, like Paolo Bianchi, for example. But they do also have rewards at the end, the normal one being Amazon River Wave, Brazil's Special Tactics, which I believe somehow I already have. And then the s rank reward is Circular Drive, the Special Tactic used by Cote Victoire's team, which unfortunately we never actually got to see in the match. But we're going to move on to the next competition route now. And I'm going to save Sonny Ryman's route for later because instead I want to go here to Alias and talk to Coach Lena. And you can see just how many matches there are in these competition routes. And this is one of just many, I tell you what. It, this one starts off with Gaia as a first team. That was the penultimate boss of the entire second game, and now it's relegated to a first boss. But if you were to beat the upper root of this with a normal rank, you get power element, which you can give to players to strengthen, basically give them better same type attack bonus like you get in Pokemon. And the S rank reward is the end, a goalkeeping move which we have not even seen yet, but we will soon. And on the lower route, you can get no element, the opposite of power element, for regular clear and thunder beast. The collab shot between Sean Frost and Thor is the S rank reward. Not a particularly good reward, I have to say. But I also, while I'm here, to show off what was said about post-game capsules, I put loads of capsules into this machine when I came here before beating the game and never got anyone interesting. Coming here now, Andy Crafter is not the kind of player I was hinting at. I'll try again. Okay, never mind, it was taking too long. But it should also be noted that this area is not in Lightning Bolt and Bomb Blast. 
So, Coach Lena's competition route is actually found in the FFI competition boardroom in Lightning Bolt and Bomb Blast. If you want to see a competition route which is actually exclusive to Team Ogre Attacks, the blind girl that Ray Dark nursed back to health, Lucia, has a very small competition route. This is the smallest one. It's still got a whole nine matches in it, but one route is unusually small compared to the others. So just beating it normally gets you slack off, which increases the experience gain of the whole team at the cost of the experience gain of the person with the skill. And then your S rank reward is better, I would say. It is Soul Hand, the goalkeeping move of Hector Helio, or one of them anyway. One of the strongest goalkeeper moves in the game. Now this competition route run by the robot in front of Ryman Club was the kind of the main side quest of the game. This was how we played Farm, Otaku, Occult, all of those kind of teams and for sure as well. I only missed off one record uh, reward because I didn't S rank them all. But when you find out that the reward for S ranking the route was the skill economy, I don't think I was missing very much for not S ranking it. You S rank that to get experience points during the main game, not to. Hang on! What was that? It's a piece of the final notebook. That's what's fun about them. They just turn up at random. Just like how I randomly remembered to use the concert ticket to unlock something in a competition route. Let's use that final notebook, volume 11. Wow, that's, that's the number. No wonder they put it here in the club room. But we're actually going to go downstairs, and this area is locked off by a Wi-Fi download. So you need to spend about 10,000 TP and connect to Wi-Fi to get here. But if you do, you get to do Detective Smith's competition route. And in terms of rewards, this is the best one. Because if you just complete the upper route normally, you unlock Nelly Ryman as a usable forward. And if you S rank it, you get Cammy as well, who is a defender. So therefore on the bottom route, that means for beating it normally, you get Celia. And for S ranking it, you get Sylvia. Sylvia is a goalkeeper and Celia is a midfielder, just like her brother. So absolutely fantastic rewards. That one is well worth your time to complete if you're going to sink some time into the post game, which I did for over 100 hours in my first playthrough of Inazuma 11-3 Team Ogre Attacks. Can you see why I'm not showing off the routes in full on this Let's Play? So to show off the other competition route which is locked behind a Wi-Fi download, luckily the Wi-Fi is still running for this game, unlike Miiverse, so you can still do this. But in the sweet shop area, you can do Julia's competition route. That is Axel Blaze's little sister, who starts you off with the Herds of Nerds and Benches 5. Uh, yeah, she really got the short end of the stick with the teams, huh? But, if you were to beat all these matches on the top route, you get Tiger Drive, the, the shooting move of Austin Hobbs, as your starting reward, and if you S rank it, this is the only time they hide one of these behind a competition route. The last notebook number two is your reward for S ranking that route, when otherwise they're just lying around in the overworld, but I guess Julia Blaze hung on to one. If you beat the lower the lower route normally, your reward is something called Everyone Move It, which in the description of the game increases success rate when winning and decreases success rate when losing. I'm guessing that means FP and TP, but I'm not sure. And then your reward for S ranking it is Black Thunder, the special tactics of a team we have not yet seen. Now, returning back to the Ryman Club Room, you can also click on this grate in the floor 
to go underground. Extremely easily missed, but this is the way back to the governor's bunker from the start of Inazuma 11 2. And uh, somebody is... <laughs> it's a robot that doesn't want to act like a robot. That is up my alley. I don't want my robots to look like robots. I want them to look like but invertible machines with spinning bars. But this competition route is the thing that your random ticket, such as the concert ticket, actually goes on. You need to find tickets for most of the matches here in the overworld, while some of them are actual story relevant matches, such as Team D and Royal Academy Redux. There's a bit of an evil theme in general, like, the top row is Team D, Royal Academy Redux, Zeus, and Fallen Zeus. The reward for that being put your back into it, which is in increases the strength of special moves. And then Combat Kid is the S-rank reward, which restores your TP when it's low sometimes. While the bottom row is your alias route, so that's Gemini Storm, Epsilon, Advanced Epsilon, Genesis... And then, Team Ogre, where all of the players are level 99. They did actually put an S rank reward for this as well, which is basically inattainable. The normal reward is God Catch, Mark Evans' strongest move. When that's the normal move, that says a lot. But if you can hack your way to S ranking, Team Ogre, then you will get Doom Rain, a long shot used by Team Ogre. But that's never gonna happen. So, there's only two competition routes left to talk about now, and one of them is found within Ryman School itself. Which, I don't know why they locked this place off for the whole game, but you can do it. And okay, there's three I want to talk about, actually. Because this one is called the dream competition route and it's unique in that you don't just play all of the matches in one place rather you can see here that they're all found by these kind of robots in different places across the map and they're all interesting matches actually because on the top row it is in order real alias the hurricanes dark angel 2 more on that later Champion is this one, which features a whole random assortment of people like Torch, Aphrodite, Tori, Malcolm Knight even. And then ends with the Chaos Angels, with your rewards being for normal, a formation called Brunzel, and a S-rank reward is a special tactic called God Speed, which increases your movement speed. On the bottom row, we start off with the Dark Emperors straight away, and then we move into Piston Berries, which is a team based on the Japanese band who made the intro songs for Inazuma 11. Wouldn't mind showing that one off, to be honest. Then we've got the Gangs of Four, which consists only of password characters found throughout the game. Then there's the card, based on representatives of the Inazuma 11 trading card game, then a team called Inazuma 1110, short for 2010, containing only characters from this game, because it was released in 2010. And then finally, the International Old Stars. Your reward here in this blue chest is Fiend Hand, Darren's strongest move, and the S rank reward is incredible. So you know how in Inazuma 11-3 Bomb Blast and some cutscenes within this game, you get to see Hector Helio as a child? That child version of Hector Helio is available as a separate recruitable character in this game, and that's how you acquire him. Which, to me, that is such a fulfilling reward, because it's something you should never really... It doesn't make sense, but that's why it's such a hidden thing, and it makes use of sprites that already exist, and indeed, Hector Helio is a fantastic player, so he might as well be here. And now we can get to meet a guy called Stickler, who is another one of those password characters, so he is found in the team called The Card. Now, his name is a clue. He's called Stickler, which means you follow rules to the mark. 
So that actually is his password. It's follow rules. There is one more password character which I've actually missed off. We're going to get him in an episode very soon. And there is actually a reward for getting all of those players who are locked behind passwords. So that's going to be in another video, but look forward to that because the reward is worthwhile. For now, let's uh, beat Stickler who gets a, a special role in the comp competition route episode. Not too difficult, sorry, but there you go. Yeah, he's not in the Gangs of Four, he's in the team called The Card, if I made that mistake before. The Gangs of Four is stuff like the, the Halloween-themed team, etc. But, yeah, so we'll just have a quick look around Raimon, which is going to end with another competition route, and then finally you can see what the last competition route is, which I've saved for last for a specific purpose. I have a reason. You can't go behind Ryman School, unfortunately. That area, which has the tennis court on it and the third year building, etc. That's all exclusive to Inazuma 11 1. And if I may say so, it's also in Inazuma 11 Go. And you still get to see people failing their test as though the entire Inazuma 11 series never happened. Now, actually, if you go up here, there is a special magic moves. I cannot afford these at all, but some of the very best moves in the game, including Triple God Hand. You didn't even know that move existed. But yeah, so that's, that's a shop which will sell you those exclusive, elusive goods if you want to remember that, but I need to keep my TP back for other purposes. So up here on the top floor is where we're going to find the competition route. It's on the, the left-hand room, but here you get the special tactic Ghost Lock, which I absolutely love as an idea. And also we get the final notebook from Mr. Sweet. Thank you for that very much. But yeah, special tactics were a brand new idea for Inazuma 11.3. But when you think about it, yeah, there was one instance of a special tactic within Inazuma 1 when you faced a cult. Ghost Lock was basically a special tactic, so they actually made it one, and you can get it there, which is a very nice thing to do, if you were to ask me. So anyway, we will not hang around in the extra study room because we're instead going to speak to our headmaster, which is the location of the penultimate competition route, starting with Flying Forwards and South America United. You can see here with Flying Forwards that some of these teams have very specific completion requirements. Like this one requires you to have a team comprised entirely of air element players. But regardless, if you beat the upper route, you get Invincible Lance, the special tactics of Queens of Knights of Queen, Queen's Knights, and then if you beat it on the S rank, you get Heavenly Drive, a good long shot, which again we haven't seen, but we will. While on the bottom route, you get Big Moves as your normal reward, and Dimensional Hand as the top one. So, goes to say a lot when God Catch is a normal completion reward on one route, but Mark's weaker move, the Dimensional Hand, is an S-rank reward for a different route. They clearly have an order in mind where you're supposed to play these routes. But also a team in the lower route called the Windies can drop Sh uh, Snow Angel, which is Sean Frost's defensive move, just as a random drop, and that's the only way in to get that move in the game. So we've got one competition route left to show off, and so we're going to head to the Cote Victoire camp. And by coming here, Mark Evans can freely talk with his grandfather. And this is a interesting route to say the very least. So much so that I'm actually going to play a match within it. 
This is just the Asian All-Stars. I don't expect this what this particular match to be very interesting. The other team on the lower route was the Dork Emperors, which is the Dark Emperors, but not in their evil forms. So we'll just, I'm not messing with the formation. Let's just get straight in. So this is just an example of a random bunch of players from the first three Asian teams in the game, Australia, Qatar, and Korea. Believe me, I'm not showing off this match because I care about this team in particular. Rather, I want to make a separate video. It will probably be the next episode in the series because Dave Evans's competition route is the most special one. Not in terms of rewards, but in terms of the teams that you play on it. So, I want to take the time to beat Asia the Asian All-Stars, and in the next episode, we will have a detailed look at the remains of this competition route. Well, that's disappointing. I, don't, I didn't manage to S-rank them, because I never got any long shots in. I kept passing to players who were already out of TP. But nonetheless, that's going to be an example of beating a match in the Ultimate Tournament. The next team in the route is Brocken Brigade. Now, why would that be interesting? Find out next time on Inazuma 11.3.